Hey, 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 what's good? Um, I just decided to uh, make a video on this. It's one of, it's a new video that came out today from Inside Edition. Uh, it is, uh, these are some, some of the creepiest homes. I mean, I'm going to be able to, get, like, I'm pretty sure I could guess what is creepy about it. They're, prob they're probably going to talk about, um, you know, someone died in or ghost you know the most basic the most like predictable stuff but i'm hoping that they're going to tell us tell me something something different to be like oh my god that is actually creepy you know i want to have that actually i want to actually have that reaction if you think about it i want to like <clears throat> i want to actually have that oh whoa i didn't see that coming you know that's the type of reaction I'm planning on having, but yeah, I want to see what the comments are saying, man. Nobody's allowed in this house because of the watcher. What's that? Uh, I guess we'll find out. The booty trap house was home alone, junkie edition. Hello, <laughs> that watcher character just sounds like a dedicated troll. Okay, me, man, it's not that scary. One minute later, two people were buried in their backyard. <laughs> I mean that shouldn't shouldn't scare anybody though. Honestly, it's not like they're gonna kill you or something. No, it's not, they're dead. Like, what are you gonna do? The bo the bo the booby trap house be like knife to you. <laughs> Yo, the old lady is lying. There's something up. This is creepy as hell. But pray to God for safety for all humanity. Okay, boys, let's let's run it. Let's run it. No serial killer here. We just want to sell our home. <laughs> These are some of the creepiest, scariest, and allegedly haunted homes in the world. Creepiest homes, haunted homes in the world. I feel like this is some kind of like 2014 type video from like a from like a YouTuber named Matthew Santoro. Just he just makes all this type of videos. So uh, creepiest hotels, creepiest homes, creepiest. Uh, Creepiest schools, uh, creepiest uh, hospitals, like you find all those things from that guy. And yeah, uh, this is my first time actually watching like a news network actually talk about it. <laughs> and yeah, okay, first. Okay, let's go. This house was featured in the 1991 thriller The Silence of the Lambs oh, starring yeah. Jodie Foster and Anthony Hopkins. Oh, yeah, they keep talking about that stuff. I heard about that stuff before. Uh, the Silence of the Lamb was actually from a real... Uh, I've never even watched the movie before, which is crazy. Uh, it says that The Silence of the Lamb is actually from a real life... Yeah, a real life incident. Like, like what she's about to describe here. The home's exterior looks identical to how it appeared in the movie. But the inside was transformed to make it look like a house of horrors mm. during this climactic scene. They had all types of junk on the mantel and also in the china oh, cupboard. I think that's to make Lisa. it look no. like there was. That's why it's not like Lisa. Like she's always the one that's giving out the information. So it was an old bachelor serial killer living in the home and old recognized bachelor this serial famous killer. basement. Old bachelor serial killer door. The house's longtime owners, Barbara and Scott Lloyd, assured us a few years back that there was nothing to be afraid of. It was just a movie, no ghosts, no serial killers, nothing evil in the house. But the Are you sure there's nothing evil? What if the serial killer has taken over our body? Hmm? Hmm? How do we know that the serial killer didn't take over her body and is just telling us all that so that we can be welcomed? That can't be said about this Monterey, California Obviously not home. true. So here is where the, the actual body was found. What the This couple heck? claims they were shocked seen to this learn already. after purchasing this home that the body... They've already shown... This. I've already seen this video. Like, I've already seen this video from... I've already seen this house. Uh, they were like, oh, they were mad that the, uh, the person that was... So, they were mad that the person that was selling the house didn't tell them that people died there. I remember the video I was like does that matter yeah I remember being like does that really matter like what so okay someone died there then then like what's next you're gonna leave because someone died on the ground like come on bro people die everywhere these <laughs> of two women were buried in their yards in the 1980s they told inside edition that they weren't told that a convicted murderer lived there at one point when they were buying the property 
And they aren't the only home buyers who have felt they were deceived. See? In this New so Jersey family who purchased this house, which has been stalked by someone called The Watcher. Oh yeah, In that, I remember that they too. They received several anonymous messages, including this note which read, I am The Watcher and have been in control of the house for the better part of two decades. Oh yeah, then I remember he said his father did it, his uh, grandfather did it, passes on to his father and now it's to me. <laughs> Imagine being the son of that guy, bro. You gotta do. Your mom is now like you gotta do what your father is telling you. You have to also watch the house too. Then that guy, that son, not gonna pass it on to the next son, and then pass it on to the next son. It's gonna. What a fucking. Decades <laughs> now, my grandfather watched so the house in the 1920s, and my father watched it in the 1960s. This is now my it's time. It's now my time. <laughs> the but he doesn't have anything better to do. It is now my time. Like what? Really? You really want to watch the house? Don't you think there are better things to do? Uh, like I don't know. I don't know. Aren't there better things to do? Maybe like traveling or like buying, shopping and stuff. Like what the hell? Huh? <laughs> Family who received the chilling notes never moved into the home. They finally sold <laughs> they the house in 2019. In. And check out this scary situation. Whoa! This abandoned home in Philadelphia was booby trapped. Look at this large butcher knife duct taped to a crutch above. Did you just? Did you just? Did you just say booby trapped? I'm with a knife. This staircase. That booby strap yeah. killed you right in your head, dude. Luckily, someone saw the trip wire before anyone was hurt. Whoa! I don't know if that's creepy. I'll just say. It's evil. <laughs> I'll go with evil, but creepy. I don't say. I don't think that's creepy, but whoa, that's literally evil. What the hell? The hell? Look at that. How did? Damn. That's some scary stuff, man. I wonder why the person would want to do that. Honestly, like, what? What would anyone? Why would someone want to do that? Honestly. Someone had to be chasing them or like they were hiding from someone or something. Damn, that's crazy. But it was like imagine imagine that person like forgetting that they had the the stuff, then the the booby trap, then like for example like uh so a friend fam a friend or a family member now wants to like, you know, walk up to them because you know their friends are family members so they can't do that. Walk up Woke up to woke up in their room and they just get stabbed like that and it's like what? It wasn't the only dangerous setup in the home. There were these shards of broken glass on steps. <laughs> like that person said, home alone. This is crazy. Shards of broken glass. But like people are gonna see that before they, they before they start running upstairs, right? Like, or like the knife. Oh, maybe if oh maybe if it's in the night. Okay, if it's in the night, then it makes sense. Then that would definitely work, but if it's in the afternoon or morning, it's like, what? Just clean it up. <laughs> and a floorboard with more than a dozen spikes exposed. Damn, this person was on some other stuff, man. But some people like buying homes with a spooky past. The house that is rumored to inspire the horror movie The Conjuring recently was sold to paranormal investigator Corey Heinzen and his family. They've been monitoring the Rhode Island house and are searching for bizarre activity. Man, imagine buying a house for a bizarre activity and not finding the bizarre activity. Damn, wouldn't you feel like you just wasted your money now? They hope to at some point open the house to the public and run tours. All these people that just love the paranormal, like they just wanted a peek of it. So why not, you know, give them a peek of it and let them come in and experience it for themselves. Buyer beware. This is InsideEdition.com Buyer beware This is so crazy This is so crazy I mean Question to me Would I do Would I buy a creepy house I mean Just don't tell me that it was creepy Because I don't want to be thinking about it That's just That's just gonna be my problem Like the idea I'm just gonna constantly keep thinking about it. Oh my god it's creepy Then oh my god Something falls down By accident The wind blows something Oh my god it's creepy Like I don't want to think about it Just just don't tell me that someone died. Don't tell me anything. I don't. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. <laughs> like, like who would want to know that? Well, I mean, till next video, man.